There are five main ways of building design intent into your part models. First, there's the type of features that you choose to create. There are also your parent-child relationships. They determine how your model is going to be parametric. There's also the order in which you create your features. Relations, which are mathematical expressions that relate some dimensions and parameters in your model to other dimensions and parameters in your model. And my favorite module of Creole Parametric, which is BMX, the Behavioral Modeling Extension, which allows you to create data analysis features and then feasibility and optimization studies, which you can also create as features in your model. In this video, we'll take a look at how to change the order of features in your model. All right, here I am in Creole Parametric and I have a simple part mo model open and I decide that I want to shell this out. Let's create a shell feature and I'm going to remove this surface. Let's change the thickness and I will hit the check mark and that looks good and then I say oh wait you know this is going to be plastic injection molded so I need to have some draft on the surfaces so let's create a draft feature and I'm going to query select until I get the intent surfaces in other words the surfaces associated with the extrude let me hold down the right mouse button to activate my draft hinges collector and let's do it about this surface over here and let's oops do about five degrees of draft and then i'll hit the check mark to complete the draft feature and i decide to check out let's take a look at a cross section so let's go to the view tab i'm going to create a section using this datum plane over here and what i notice is that because I did the shell before the draft, I don't have a constant wall thickness and I want to have a constant wall thickness. So in order to change the order of features in your model, you can use drag and drop in the model tree. I can grab this draft feature and reorder it above the shell feature and now I have constant thickness again. All right, let's deactivate the cross section and now I'm going to put in a hole in this part so let's go back to the model tab click on the hole command and I'm going to locate it on this datum plane here let's hold down the right mouse button and activate the offset references collector and I'm going to dimension it from the datum plane front and let me hold down the control key and get this surface here and from the datum plane front rather than offset it I'm going to align and for the locating dimension, let's use a value of four. Let's make that negative four. And for my depth option, I'm going to use through all. And from the shape tab, let's make it through all in the other direction. So I wanna make sure that I have this hole that goes through all the geometry in the model. And I decide that I need another extrude in the model. Let's sketch on this surface here. Go into sketch mode and I'm going to use a rectangle. Let's just drag it out over here. Oh, there we go. There are the different dimensions in here. So let's make this a value of 20 and make this one a value of 10. Hit the check mark. Let's extrude this. And for the depth, let's use two selected and pick that surface over here. All right, so I hit the check mark, and that hole that I wanted to go through everything, well, it's a through all hole, but it goes through all the geometry that exists above it in the model tree. If I want the hole to go through this other extrude, it has to be below the extrude in the model tree. So again, that's why the order of features is important. And again, I can drag and drop. I just want to mention that if you have trouble dragging, dragging and dropping, you can go to the operations overflow menu and choose reorder. And we have this nice feature reorder dialog box so we can select the features that we want to be reordered 
if they have any dependent features that need to follow along with them, they'll be listed in this field here. And we can choose whether we want them to appear after or before another feature. I want it to be after a feature. And then you can click in the target feature collector to activate it. Or if you hold down the right mouse button, you can choose target feature. And then let's pick the extrude and click OK. And so now my hole is going through the extrude as well. So again, order of feature creation, very important to determine the resulting geometry that you're going to get in your model. And you can reorder by dragging and dropping, or you can use operations reorder. Be aware that you can also change the order of features in an assembly. So let me go over to this assembly of a bike over here and I have this part and I want it to be lower in the model tree so I'll just grab it and drag it down to where I want it to appear and then I've got another component that I want to appear between a couple of different sub assemblies in here when you're dragging and dropping to reorder sometimes it can be a little difficult uh, because it might end up accidentally restructuring the model. So in that case, you can use the reorder command, but it's not operations reorder. Uh, that's the feature reorder command. You go to the component overflow menu and choose component operations. And in the menu manager, you can choose reorder. Now, one thing that's a little disappointing, this uses the menu manager. Make sure that you read the message area and follow the prompts. It's telling me to select the components to reorder, and I'm gonna select the part that I want, and then you can click OK and done, and then you can choose whether you want it to be before or after a feature. Let's go after this time, and I want it to be after the front wheel assembly and it's reordered, I can click done return out of the menu manager and that way I've got the component in between those two sub assemblies and I've prevented myself from accidentally restructuring it into one of the sub assemblies. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something in this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.